What's the ultimate strategy for raiding in Rust? Some swear by the exhilaration of launching rockets to shatter clan bases or the thrill of detonating C4 to dismantle the shabby strongholds of toxic squeakers. But what if you find yourself without those explosive options? Enter eco raiding, the underdog's approach. Join me, my friends, as we navigate the treacherous path of eco raiding to secure our loot this wipe. Will we rise to glory or remain trapped in the grim depths of Primlock? The answer awaits, so stay tuned and find out. All right, where do we want to go? We need to get scrap to get weapons. All right, let's meet up at outpost. Oh man, it's actually so dark right now. Wait, bro, someone is raiding right here. No shot. This base right here is actually already kind of decayed out a little bit. So this could be like a good start to kind of eco raid, get our first bit of loot. Oh, wait, it's already kind of open right here. Oh, we got some boxes. Oh, absolutely nothing. Come on, man. Give me a little something here. <gasps> Ooh, shotgun trap right there. Whoa, what the? Yo, wait, is there a guy with the chainsaw here? I think I just stole all that guy's loot. That is so W. After I found all the metal from the decayed base, I made it to outpost so I could meet up with Ark. Then we headed up the hill. Ooh, there's a lot of good bases up here that might be good to eco. Yo, Ark, you gotta come check this out, bro. We could literally like eco straight up into the top of this base. Oh, this is gonna be so good. But first, a little bit of farming. There's like two sides we could do. We could also get up there and like break into their like shooting floor, but I don't know about all that. They have this all barricaded. So obviously this is kind of important right here. I think we should do here. With the spot decided and the spears crafted, we can start the first eco raid. All right, let's see the spoils. Yes, we can soft side in more. All right, we need to get this thing out of here first. Oh, I just died. <laughs> get me in there. Ooh, I'm squeeze. I'm slowly going out. Just like a big turd right now. I'm just slowly moving. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Let's go. Okay, look. I think we. I think we should start here. So, like just right here somewhere. Just break up. Like right where their door is. So that's exactly what I did. Okay, look. I have to take a shit. Oh, there goes all my spears. I think I'm gonna actually do is just get a tier one, or I could even just run down to outpost. Cause look, we're right here. I can just grab metal picks because those are way cheaper to make. Well, not really cheaper, but since I already have all this metal that I found at that one base, it's definitely gonna be a lot easier. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit barrels down at outpost until I have enough scrap to just research it. I guess I'll just get a little bit more scrap since we're already here, just so we can go ahead and just have a tier one at base. Okay, we only got 43, but I'm pretty sure we have a little bit at base. And if not, then we'll just quickly run back over here. All right, there we go. We got the workbench and we got all these pickaxes. But since I already got the wall like weak, I'm just gonna only take over there like five. All right, one more smack. Here we go. Okay, no more doors. That's looking pretty good. Oh no, don't just tell me just goes like that are you serious might just have to go up one more floor and hope for the best that's like the only thing that we can really do here oh my goodness bro we didn't even make it through the wall oh now i can't even make it out of the <laughs> what is going on right now come on man oh my, i really can't make it through the thing wow okay i'm gonna grab this just in case someone rolls up on me real quick i'm gonna go check this out lame trap there don't mind me look at this we got a tier two but there's a little baggie right here nothing no, does that mean someone's already been here? We might have to stop the other eco and come over here real quick and see if we can't break into the main room. This is so weak, too. Ooh, please don't shoot. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Nothing impressive, but I'll take it. Oh, my. Yo, look at this. This might actually have some juice in it. Oh, yeah. We need to keep a very close eye on this. Let's just go quickly pop this last final ceiling and just really hope that it actually leads into something. Because if not, this might be a bust. 8 HP. We're super close. Oh, um, of course my pickaxe break. Give me one second. All right, come on. Whew, all right, moment of truth. <sighs> you know what, man? Oh, well. Let's just go ahead and grab this and head over to the other base. And we can just really, really, really hope that that thing actually has loot. Because if not, well, this is just not a great start. This is still 5 HP. And this is a lot of HP. So I'm pretty sure the TC is going to be right under 
this one. So this must be an airlock, maybe? I don't know. I guess we'll just kind of sit here and wait for this to decay out. Just heard a thing break. Okay. Ooh, look, it opened up. It opened up. No, there's nothing new. Come on. Come on, man. Just a little something new. Oh, um, are you serious? I really just fell in here. Oh, my. Come on. Yeah, well, realistically, we can't do much here. So let's need to keep a very close eye. Just make sure that we get whatever's in there. Okay, so look, we can kind of see like the little wall through the floor. It kind of stops over here. So what I'm thinking is like, maybe there's actually a path upwards here. Honestly, I think I'm going to just try one more soft side. And if I can't get in anything after that, then yeah, I'll just call this one a no. All right, please, please, please. Well, that's a bust. Oh, well, we just ecoed so much of that base. I almost don't even want to give up in this base. I think what I'm going to do is like actually just build up and see like if what's behind those like windows. Oh, this is actually clutch. Look, we can put that there and we can jump up right here. Perfect. Yes. Okay, I think I'm going to pull out the ladder and put it here. There we go. Oh, yeah. We're doing a little bit of parkour now. Dang it, man. I don't think I'll be able to soft side any of this. Well, there is one wall there that is soft sideable, but where does that go? It's that wall right there. Yeah, I don't think that leads into nothing. <sighs> Dang it, man. I don't think there's any spoils to be had after discovering the base had no loot to offer i set out on a search in hopes of finding the next eco raid we got a base over here it has a wooden door on it we could possibly molotov raid the Ooh, look at this base it's all open this door's only at 30 hp but i doubt there's anything in there it just goes into like one square there's this little funky base right here and it's a little box right there okay i kind of actually want to eco raid into that i feel like there might be something in there I low key wish we had like some molotovs or something right now that'd be clutch we do have the flame bullets but <laughs> that's literally all we got really so I guess we're just going to be hatching out this door a little more. Wow. Just like that. Six machetes are gone and two swords. Yeah, this is going to piss me off, bro. I'm going to get Molotovs. So yeah, I went on a normal scrap run. Or so I thought. There's some lights going on in this house over here. Oh, man, it sounds like I just heard boots or something. It actually might be eco-rateable, though, from the looks of it. I don't know. We'll have to come double check that out in just a little bit. Okay, we got a decent amount of scrap so far. Oh, there's a bear casually chilling right there, bro. Oh, 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 there's there's a guy on the roof. There's a guy on the roof. It looks like he has a star, I think. Or a crossy, probably. I can't tell. I don't if he has a if he has a bow, we can kill him, but I don't know if he has a gun or not. Oh! The bear reaps your soul. I'm up, I'm up. No, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Get him! I get it. I got him. What? No way, bro. What a crazy play. That is so funny, bro. I cannot believe that. There's honestly a lot of barrels out here, so we can easily get the scrap to go ahead and research the Molotov. And having this gun is just going to be... Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on? Whoa. Hey, now. Oh, you better chill. The bear reaps your soul. No, come on. Come on. Are you serious? Bro. A bear with 12 HP just fucking killed me, dude. Get my gun. Get my gun. There's a guy on top of the roof starring. No way. What kind of luck is that? Oh, there's a guy right here on me. There's a guy right here on me. Ooh. Bro's a little farmer. Oh, Ooh. shit. I dropped the gun. No. I can't get it. Oh, he got it. Shit. I hit him in the head. I hit him in the head. No, bro. This guy sucks ass. No, he bled out! He bled out! He bled out! No way! Get back here! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh my god, bro! What is going on? What is going on? Bro, get the horse! Get the horse! I think there's a horse there. Oh my- Bro, what is actually going on right now? Go, 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 go! Get down there! Get down there and get the gun! Come on, man. The horse doesn't even have stamina, bro. This is so good! He's just right here looting, bro. Oh my god, he's so bad, man! Come on. I'm going back over there with the mace because I need to get some more scrap anyways. And I'm also getting some more bags down. I seriously need to find where this guy lives. Rosa like Christmas newborn rust and it's not even Christmas time. I cannot believe my eyes right now. No, I'm almost tempted to say and almost willing to bet that he lives here. Oh my, all right, come on, bro. Really? Because we did see light on over here. And <laughs> this just looks like a base that guy would live out of if I'm just being completely honest. I just, I just really get that vibe. Let's see if anything was left. He literally left a rifle body. It's like one of the best components here what is this guy doing bro, and he left a satchel and a large body <laughs> i seriously can't even begin to imagine how that guy got a hold of a weapon there's just no physical way oh my god he's right here i think i think he's right here i just saw him bro that had to have been him bro no other guy would have just been crouching up like that i might just throw the satchel at him dude yeah that's 100 percent him yep 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 whoa 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 how did he i'm gonna bleed out no 
I'm throwing the satchel, bro. Fuck it. I probably just scared him off. Oh, man. Come on. I doubt I'm going to stand up. Please, though. Please. I don't know how this guy... Oh, look at him. You can barely see him. No, he's going to see me. He's going to see me. He's going to see me. No, no, no. Don't see me. No, he sees me, bro. Oh, my God. This guy is so shit. I don't understand this guy, bro. Like, he hits these most random headshots and everything, but it's fine. If he's over there right now, if he's actually over there right now, he's messed up. And I'm going to actually take these. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, there he is. Look at his ass up there. Just sitting up there. We serious. I have to. I literally have to. No question. I need to make a play on this guy right now. Because that gun, first of all, belongs in my inventory and not his. Second of all, if I die, like, what, a third time to this guy? Oh, I might as well just uninstall. Like, genuinely. Dude, what are you doing? I was in the middle of playing. You need to show what actually happened, man, in the correct order. Nah, bro, that shit was mad embarrassing. No way. You sure about that, man? All right, all right, bro, chill. I'll show what actually happened. Probably still just up here. I don't know why I'm so nervous. He's just gonna whiff all of his shots, but like, I feel like I'm just gonna get so unlucky for no reason again. Fuck it though, here we go. No, bro. Of course he's right there when I come up, bro. I'm taking this salvage cleaver, dude. I just have to get like some sort of lucky headshot on him. Like, why is this guy just sitting here camping? Nothing. I'm so lost right now. Is he just sitting here camping this again? I don't even want to look. I don't even think he looted me either, dude. Oh, come on. No, bro. Swing faster. Come on. Oh my god, this guy is so fucking dog shit, bro. This guy's still, like, he barely even looted my body. And look, he didn't even take the rifle body again. Oh my, yep, yeah, there he is. Oh my god. Dead again. Let's go, baby. To the absolute worst player in all of Rust fucking history. Hey, you know what? I'm just gonna take the zip line in straight to the top and hope if he's still there, I can just get behind him and pickaxe his ass. Look at this. He's not even looting me. Like, he, he's actually just camping nothing right now. I'm so confused, bro. Like, what is this guy's issue? I mean, it's not him, but there is three people, like, right over there. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He'll be here any second. I just saw him run over. Here's a hazmat suit. In here he comes. Come on. What's he doing? Oh, he's looting? There we go. Let's go. Yeah, give me that ammo, buckaroonie. That's what we like to see. Look, look, you see that wood base? Like, two, like, 90-ish? 300? Dude, I think that's where he lives. I'm getting suppressed. I don't see him, though. Oh, I see him. I see him. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Ooh, but I, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Come get me up. After getting the two kits off the guy, I headed back to base the depot so I could get back on track. I want to see how much scrap I'm going to need to actually get down to the Molotov real quick. So 850, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and farm some scrap. I'm going to go back over there in hopes of maybe finding that dude's base. Oh my God, that guy is just not very good. I'm pretty sure I just heard him over there again with another SAR. I don't know who is giving this guy guns or if he's crafting them or what, but I don't even know, man. Oh, wait, I don't think that was him, actually. It's like 50. That is a pretty juicy fight. I would normally go to that, but I'm on a bit of a mission. Oh, wait. They're like right there, though. This guy looks naked. I can't entirely tell. I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna let that guy be. I'm so genuinely curious if this guy's still over here with the gun. Just camping or whatever you want to call what he was doing. Oh, guess the answer is no. Guess we literally took the only two guns that this guy had, but that's not all I want for him. Now I want this dude's base. I'm not entirely sure, but he definitely lives over there, so we're just gonna have to go keep that out. I'm so curious, though, still like whose base is this I, I i really did think like that was his base but i guess it's not let's go finish this like wood door and then we'll go from there i guess okay i'm not gonna lie we also definitely need to expand into a bigger base because yeah the, these two little boxes are not going to cut i wanted to expand base so i went out on a farm run then this happened oh i hit him once i think i got him i got him i got him Oh my god, this guy was kind of juice. What the hell? We have no storage in base for all this. So, of course, it was time to expand. All right, base is looking a lot better. Just need some wood, get that furnace, start smelting. Furnace going. Perfect. Also, get this meat cooking. There we go. Oh! Holy. Oh, well, guess I'll just organize boxes while we wait for those guys to go away. There we go. Nice little organization going. Looking a lot better. It also highlights how down bad broke we are. But we just gotta hit some of these little eco raids. We're gonna be swimming in the loot. 
All right, time to see if these guys are still just chilling out here. And actually, I'm gonna put one of these Molotovs away because we only need like one right now. The coast was now clear, so I headed down to the base to finish off the wooden door. All right, here she is. Let's pop her open and see what's going on. Probably gonna be like a box of AKs, you know, maybe like a row of GP. I mean, it's not like we can really use it. Maybe to craft some ammo, that's about it. <sighs> Wow, it was legit open from the top this entire time. Well, that right there is a lesson to always double check stuff. Well, after that loss, I think it's time I go ahead and salvage hammer into this door right here like I wanted to. Well, let me see, I might be able to just straight up build into this little base because it looks low enough to the ground. I'm pretty sure I can just straight up make this jump. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can. There's a guy sleeping right there, but it looks like he's prim. But honestly, I would like one successful eco raid for once. So I'll just go ahead and salvage hammer my way in. You know what, instead of actually building these hammers, I have a way better idea. I just, you know, I, I really genuinely feel like if I'm gonna put time into anything it would be finding that guy's base and eco raiding it that would be the ultimate victory in my book Ooh, there's some shots up here oh man no can you distract him i might be able to get my body i think i killed him with the revy nah he's looting my body yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate that we lost that kit, but it really doesn't matter because we are on a mission to find this dude's base. I don't even remember his name. Right here it is. Shoney? Last seen an hour ago. So I don't know if he logged off after that uh, interaction we had with him or what. So is it this base down here? Nope, this is an empty base. I don't, I don't think he lives anywhere over there. It's definitely going to be somewhere in this direction. He wasn't that far, so it's really interesting to see. Wait a second. No way. That's soft side. This has to be him. Oh, no, it's open. Dude, I was going to say that's too good to be true. Oh, where does this guy live? definitely not here this base looks too advanced for that guy yeah and he came from this direction anyways so it's definitely not that base it has to be this one this is like the only valid option it has to be this base right here oh yeah look at this what is going on here oh yeah this has to be him dude no way it's not and it's perfect because we could literally soft side in right here so we could break the roof down and then we could go into that wall right there i think oh wait there's that base right there wait a second hold on um <gasps> wait we could actually molotov in that i think but there's probably just another door so it doesn't really matter all right hold on actually what is this what is this monstrosity? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I think I changed what I said. I think this is him. And this is perfect because it's wood, so we can just Molotov this down. I think like right here. I'm not I'm not entirely sure how much it even costs though, but I don't know, man. This this one's calling my name. I, I genuinely think this is him. It just it makes the most sense, to be honest. Because with the way that guy was playing, even this base right here just kind of seems too advanced. Wait, but there's a soft side here, bro. Oh my god, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. You know what? For the one time I honestly think. Both of these should get eco rated. I think this one would actually have some loot in here because look, they have a tier two and everything. But I definitely want to start with this base right here first because it's wood. So it'll just be a quick little in and out. So let's go get some Molotovs. After grabbing a kit and crafting some Molotovs, I ran back over. Ooh. Fuck, where's that? I'm dead. It's Thong. Oh, oh shit. The guy in front of me. What the hell? It's the same guy. He has a Revy. He's dead? All right, one more to do. I know this base probably isn't gonna have anything at all, but I'm just really curious if this is that one guy's base that we kept messing with down at the gas station. Wow, bro, these spoils are very, very good. Wait, there's boxes here? Ooh, okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and blow this last door, shall we? Oh, I'm getting hit markers. Oh, was that just you? <laughs> Dang it, bro. No one was even in here. We don't even get to see if it was him or not. Yeah, man. So on the bright side, at least we can just lock this up and use this as a little respawn base, I guess. Not the best one, but it'll work. Such a random base, dude. But I still have a good feeling it was that, guys, to be honest. Well, 
Looks like we got a date with this base right here. Because I have a good feeling, for whatever reason, this base is definitely going to have something in it. I mean, considering the fact that they actually have a tier 2 over here, that's, like, convincing enough for me to know they have something. Or should we soft side from? That's the main question. <gasps> Ooh. We might be able to just break this with the Molotov, actually. I gotta hit this perfectly. I'm gonna try, like, right here. Ow. That is not very pleasant. Oh, it's breaking it so slow, dude. No. You know what, though? We might be able to just break this. Like, how much does this do? Oh, this is gonna take a hot minute, but I think this is gonna be the easiest way in, because that door right there is open and everything, so. Oh, wait. Look, it's barely doing any damage. Yo, what the hell? How strong is this? Is this, like, better, I wonder? Oh, yeah, this is much better for breaking this. Still kind of slow, but it's gonna be the easiest way. Let's go get a ladder and come back with actual some good tools to get inside this damn thing all right here we are we got the full inventory of tools yeah we're good to go just gonna go ahead and hop on this little horse right here and take her down to where we need to be horses in my opinion are one of the best transportation in this game they're pretty quiet super quick and really easy to maintain definitely if you're just like kind of chilling around you know making these little travels it's just kind of you know nice to have around i guess all right let's go ahead and get this little ladder placed right here and yep time to chop until my arm falls off come on man finally one hp these things are ridiculously strong Whew. all right come on show me the money oh <gasps> no way all the doors are open oh okay we got some farm oh <gasps> tc oh we got uh we got stuff, I guess. Man, what is this damn base, bro? Are you serious right now? I mean, at least we got a jackhammer. It's actually kind of nice. We could soft side into a few more walls. Cause look, right in here is where the... What's it called, Zara? Wait, what's behind this door, though? <gasps> Wait, Pikachu. I see someone's name. Pikachu. Who's that? That doesn't sound familiar. I think we should go ahead and jackhammer into... See, so this way goes outside, and so does this one. But what is this door here? And then I'm pretty sure this one goes right into the, um... Yeah, that goes into there. But then this door goes there where there's nothing. It's all walled in. And then that goes right there where that Pikachu guy's sleeping. So, hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm gonna get TC first. So then we can go ahead and we can, like, build up to these other spots and we can see what's going on. Oh, yeah, and then there was this box, but I don't even think there's anything in there. Loot's not looking very promising. If I'm not mistaken, we could just take some of the wood that they have in here. Let me see. Okay, they don't have any wood, but I'll just take this and go get some real quick. I can just straight up build onto these other things and see what's in them. Like, even where Pikachu's sleeping, I'm so curious. But look, I can go ahead and just do this now and build over to where Pikachu is. Ooh! Whoa! I'm getting sorry outside. No! It's the stong guys again. No way. Oh my god. He, is, he was dying to spikes just now, so <laughs> he might just die. Damn it, man. I'm fully looted. He didn't leave anything at all. Let's see what the TC spoilers are looking like. Oh, wow. After that, Ark had logged off and I was soon to follow. I was feeling defeated. However, I took a moment to reflect on the valuable lesson of double checking things and persevering. And so that's precisely what I did. Whoa. Wait, what? No actual way the box from up top that Ark broke had all this in it. There's no way. Wait, I want to go see what Pikachu had on him. Bro, I had a feeling that little thing flew out of there and it had stuff in it. I had a big feeling about that. And I didn't even check, bro. No actual way. Oh, <gasps> bro, there's more boxes. Oh, yo, what? Oh my God, I gotta be careful, dude. I can't let anyone know about this. Okay, there we go. We got our wood. We got our TC and lock crafted. The fact that these guys literally had 300, like, low-grade casually chilling around for that tells me that whatever's in there from what we've seen so far is going to be absolutely loaded. Using a hammer to pick up the window frame, we could finally see the spoils. Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh. My. Oh. <gasps> Dude, these guys were loaded, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. This isn't anything like crazy like AKs, but holy hell, bro. This is crazy, dude. 
I cannot believe we almost missed this. Look at this, another 250 low grade just chilling in a little lantern. I start someone take a step. Surely not, right? No! He's in there, man! Oh, it's the- oh, yeah, I'm coming for my revenge, buddy. You have no idea what's coming for you right now, buddy. You messed up, hotshot. No! I messed up, apparently, bro. Like, where is this guy, man? How do I get in there? He's actually just camping the base. He doesn't even know the loot's right there in that little window. Oh, man, that's so funny for this guy. What a noob. While we're waiting for our bag to reset, I just want to see what- Oh, ooh, 31 HP, bro, and that's the core too. We need to be ready for that to break. This is probably going to be decently juicy as well. Maybe. But we need to get back over there and try to kill this damn guy before he finds out. All he has to do is climb into the little window and he gets all the loot. I mean, he can get two boxes, which is all the farm and stuff. He can't really get the rest, but still. Okay, we need to get this thing sealed up somehow. We just need a couple hundred wood. Boom. There we go. All right, here we go. We can just go ahead and start soft siding off this wall. In case you're wondering, the only reason I'm really soft siding this is just because I don't want to risk going out there and bro's just sitting over there with a the little suppressor like usual. So I'm just taking the safe way to make sure I can siphon the loot like through the base. You know what I mean? Just mine as well. Whatever. And then I actually just want to take this Jackie and the little bit of tools left. And I just want to kind of break into that last little area. I'm just kind of curious what's in there. I doubt it's anything, but there's a chance it might have something, you know? You never know, I guess. All right, and there we go, we're in. Oh, baby. Look at this, this guy didn't even come and get any of the loot, bro. What an L for him. He's so mad. Look at all of this juice. Not really expecting much, but I'm hoping for the best. <gasps> Ooh. Ah. Uh, well, I would say this base here is pretty much nice and good to go. Let's go check up on that decaying base. No way it's open. All right, come on, man. We waited so long for the space. Are you serious? One box? Okay, so there was a Revy. Ooh, okay. Oh. Well. Not the best, but I guess I'll take it. Well, here's a good look at all the loot. Considering pretty much all this was obtained by eco rating, not too shabby, especially in the matter of only a few hours. Like, not the best, but definitely not the worst, but I don't know. I think I'm definitely just gonna stick to normal raiding. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video as it greatly supports me. Your feedback is very valuable to me, so feel free to let me know in the comments what you liked or didn't like. I'm always looking to improve and create the best content possible. Once again, thank you and have a fantastic day. Day.